shame wrong turns written on every page let's begin my story your glory um, a book if you will now what inspired you to take it from music to book <laughs> so throughout my career i've developed the ability to tell a story one three minute song at a time my story your glory Often than not, I'll get to the end of a song and I'll feel like I still got more to say about that topic. I wrote all these songs and still felt like I had more to unpack with that. And that's how the idea for this devotional book was born. It was kind of like, what if we took a 30 day journey and in every chapter, uh, every chapter was another way of saying, God, invade this part of my story and show me your plan for mm. my past, for my character, for my relationships with my friends, for my, uh, my finances, for the way I spend my time, like every aspect. I think about the Psalms where David said, Lord, search me and know me. And so I wanted to write a book that was like a daily prayer, like mm -hmm. saying, Lord, search this part of my life. Mm -hmm. Show me how you want it to give you glory. When you've cried and you've cried till your tears run dry, the answer won't come and you don't know Are you intentionally highlighting the less than perfect parts of us? Oh, you better believe it. <laughs> it. Because I think that's, you know, too often the times or the parts of our stories that the enemy does his best work mm -hmm. in making us believe that that can't be redeemed or yeah. it can't be used by God. I don't know what to do with these broken chapters of my story. I'm learning at running to the Father and placing those chapters in His hands and saying, is there anything you can make good out of this? And uh, man, it's an amazing thing that happens when you take those broken parts of your story, place them in the hands of a healer, and He shows you that truly nothing is wasted. Now you've written a devotional, have you gone through it as well? Yeah, <laughs> I, it, and you know what's kind of neat is I, I saw my wife the other day mm -hmm. in her quiet time, she was reading through the devotional herself. So it's being tried and tested in mm -hmm. the West House, you know? <laughs> and that's, I will say, that's a great question because I wrote the book in the way that I like to read devotional books. Mm -hmm. and, it, and I never want a book to take over uh, the most important book which is God's Word. Yes. And so I wrote this book in a way that could come alongside your personal quiet time. And man, the pages are filled with scriptures where if you're on a flight or something, don't have your Bible, you can read these Bible verses. Mm -hmm. And then there's some blank pages where you can write your story. After all, it's called My Story, Your Glory. So it's an opportunity for you to think about your story, to write it down, and then maybe return to it in moments when you need to be reminded of something that God showed you or how faithful he's been throughout the story of your life. Take me back to the music that inspired this, that album, which I believe was number one. Um, Let's just say it was. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do, do you recall what sparked that project? Yes, there was a um, time during, uh, I don't even like to say this word anymore, pandemic. But there was a time when the whole world was shut down. We, we all remember yeah. this. And I wound up starting a podcast and uh, I gave it a genius name, the Matthew West podcast. <laughs> and uh, I found myself at the end of every episode, I would sign off saying, hey, go make the most of the one shot you get with this life. And remember, it's your story for his glory. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know why I started saying that, but every week I started saying that it's your story for his glory. And I began to like think about that. Like, what does that look like to make that a mission statement. Mm -hmm. And so I wound up writing that song and then this whole album unfolded from there. And there was something so beautiful about that reminder that God is mindful of us, which then tells us that he cares about us, which means he's involved in the finite details of our stories. And that's, I think, what sparked me to write that book, to tell somebody, hey, your story matters and your story's not over yet. Let the author of your story do his work and a new chapter is gonna begin. My story. 